welcome back in the tech dev studio and you know i have a game in google plus to that call u5 next gen and i guess this is time to give it update because i already published my new plugin called the tds hero plugin you find that in epic store that is totally free so yeah so let's get started so i'm going to use that because it's have lots of fix and bugs like android 13 supports 12 supports jdk and billing updated so lots of stuff it's have so i'm going to use that but also i want to update my game like once I release my this game, it have something like this that a magic animation. So I'm going to convert that to a third person project. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a simple folder. So a bp. So this is my new folder. So where I'm going to rework my everything from the player to everything. So at here, I'm going to add the third person template uh, because uh, I'm going to use a creating my this stuff to a third person one. So simply copy that and I'm moving that to my uh, BP and also I need a game mode. So I'm simply copying this game mode and just move there. Okay. And let me give it name that BP P. Okay. That is the player. I'm, I'm calling it name as simple as possible GM. That is a game mode. And this is going to be used at here like at here and the BP should be our this one. Nice. Now, if I try to click on play, you'll be see that we are able to play with this one. Okay, fine. We have pretty much everything. Now, I want to do some change at here. What kind of change? The first thing, the player. So, at the player, I'm going to use the gangster uh, stuff. So, double click on opening just one. And now, I want to first replace this with the gangster uh, mesh. So, I'm using the gangster patch, uh, mesh. So, here's the mesh. Uh, it's have three different types of mesh. Uh, I'm going to use this one. Uh, okay, it's looking weird. Even this one too. What the heck? Haha, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm, I guess I need to uh, reset up this uh, because maybe I uh, the animation is working perfect. So I'm not sure uh, what is the issue that Oh, maybe uh, the size, I guess. So let me reset. Yep. Is this a size issue or what? Uh, I guess it's not the size issue. It's the animation issue. Hmm. That is pretty weird. Uh, okay. Now it's working. Perfect. Okay. Yeah now let me add this one because i want to use this and add here that is pretty much king okay and now compile and save now the second thing what i'm do to i'm going to set at here and make it some closer and going to use the camera lag so and also at the y i'm going to disable the rotation to y axis so it's mean that with my camera i'm able to rotate this something like this and it's going to be work okay fine it's it's looking perfect so now i need to use the animations so for the animations uh be, this pack have already animation so this is um, i can't say that this is a great pack because it's already have the crouch and other stuff with that for the basics movement i'm going to use the mockup basics animation because it's have you know, can say that this is uh like a next level okay so it's have some walking in a place but which one it's have it's a fun mode okay like talking and other stuff uh we can uh use this one as a move but however it's uh looking like some weird stuff but we can use uh but this is you can say in a chill mode so i'm going to use it in a mobility pro in a place it's have some more animation kind of like this okay it's looking some okay and this is uh idle and this is you can say on the relax okay this is one more relax this is on dead hand running okay so it's pretty much have everything even it's crouch and have everything so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a blend space uh you can use with a blend space one you can use with the animation blueprint which one you want so i'm going to use the blend space because i like blend space too much so sk gang star uh maybe it's called uh G gang gn yeah here's a good gangster mesh and the let's give it name bp uh 
B move. So B move, it's uh, basically the basic movement. And at the basic movement, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to set it to 100 by 100. Uh, it's, you can say the 180, so LR. And let's set it to minus 80 to plus 80. So minus 80 to plus 80. Let's give it grade to 8. And that is for the speed. And then 0 to maximum 400, I guess. And then we can use the 3 grade. grade and voila i guess we have everything right now now uh at the animation sector i'm first i'm going to give this relax one at here so at the bs move uh i'm going to enable this one too and i'm going to use this but you know it's a uh, very uh hard to control from here so i'm going to copy here and search at here this one i'm going to drag and drop here okay so this is a eight-way directional uh, state uh, blend space, but I don't have I I don't think so. I have every animation, so I'm going to use this one. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, and then uh, at this speed that's on here, we are going to use the forward one that which one is basically using for the walking. Uh, this is for running, and let's see which one is for. Uh, walk okay this one so simply copy and search it here uh, okay this is the most uh the bad one is so we need to again every time uh be move uh, okay let me just enable that to my this screen uh so it will be more easy for me to navigate this thing uh animations and then as i'm guessing that i create that to my which folder i create that mockup basics animation in a place okay so let me open that to my next monitor mockup base animation mobility pro in a place i'm here so yeah now it's a more easy for me to navigate and find this one so this is the basic one that it's going to be used for move now you want for the running one so Yeah, this is work. It's it's looking great. So yeah, let's use this. Uh, there we go. And just double click and open. And we can use this one as here. So by default, it's will be run. Then should be use this one if it's a more have a spread. Okay. So this we are going to use. And now for this is you can as a use as a left and right, but I'm not sure I don't have any left and right animation. So let's continue with this one. So now we have this blend. So now what you need to do, we need an animation blueprint. So let's create an animation blueprint and I'm going to create the animation blueprint in my uh, folder. So it will be more easy for me to find out this one. So BP uh, A N I. So at here, uh, I'm going to directly use this one. Uh, so here even we have some blend of the George, but this is with the idle animation, uh, the with the weapon one. So yeah. So I'm going to create a safe cache pose. So the safe cache poses help you to basically use multiple animations. So say use safe cache pose uh, because if you want to use the montage and everything, it will be need very much. So I'm setting everything. Uh, so layer uh, blend by close and then we can use the montage so we can basically do lots of and then uh, with that connect like this connect like this and maybe I need this pin bone like this one so simply copying this bone name and then at the layer blend layer pose create a tree let's put a tier value compile and save now we need LR that is the movement and the speed is basically his speed location how much he wants okay now let's go to even graph and let's cast to our BPP that is the BP third person our player then from that we need to get a velocity to calculate the uh, speed and also we need the length to verify the speed length how much we have and for give the LHS we will calculate the uh, C A L I guess C A L C U calculate direction and we need also get rotation 
So get rotation, control rotation. You can use the control rotation. You can use the actual rotation. Doesn't matter. It will be work same. And simple connect like this. So now if I try to use this one, so BP anime should be work. Uh, let's try if I click on play. As you can see, we have super speed. That's why. So let me do some work at here. Like by default, let's give it a value to uh, 300. And because 300 even not, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that 300 is very fast. So let's give it to 200 value. And let me now try. Even 300 is uh, to uh, 200 is uh, 120 is be perfect, I guess. Uh, uh pretty slow so let me go to the planets and increase that to this one okay so it's for getting this speed we must need to give him at last 143 speed so with that it can be work perfect so let's give it a 43 uh, 143 But still, I'm thinking that it's sliding some. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm thinking that it's sliding some. Uh, so we can use maybe the four grids to get more accurate value. It's on your blend space basically. I'm not I'm not understanding that. Uh, what's happening? uh i guess that is a uh, because of control rotation let's use that actor rotation uh actor rotation and compile save let's click on play So what I'm seeing at here right now that the animation is faster than the walking speed. So let's put it here to 150. Uh, 150, right? So it's basically going to 100. So even it's on this one it's going to play this okay i guess we need one more grade that is five so this is 150 it will be played this value now it's slow what the heck <laughs> okay so the main issue with this speed like i'm put here that value to 150 uh so uh at the blend uh as you can see it's a uh, you can say that it's have some if you want to get the colored value i need 160 to get a uh, accurate one uh so let's give me get one more grade to get the perfect value to mm, i need something between this like this so let's get to seven grade You can say I need to use 180. Okay, let's use 180. So that is some time is a very problem for the blend space to match up the speed. Uh, okay, let me do super simple one. Let me get it here. Let's make it two grid only so the full power is on 400 and if i press on 200 it will be this speed okay so at the character let's give it a 200 compile save okay if we need animation speed sum what you can do uh there is a option for this one that walk f ipc 
uh, that is this one and here there's a uh, scale rate so we can increase it to uh, 1.2 I guess and if I increase that the animation will be fast too yeah pretty much it's now matching that is perfect now the main problem on the left and right because it doesn't have any animation with the left and right so that is the problem and as you can see it's saying something on the calling function that mapping error oh yeah the code error some okay so uh the main problem i don't have any animation with the left and right i'm guessing so even if i search to left and right oh i have but it's a uh, the zombie one like if i go to animation sequence <laughs> it's moving and um, yeah that is the scare one okay i need some more and perfect animation to complete that one okay i will check that later too there's no issue so this is basically what's basically going on right now but still it's looking very weird camera angle so i'm going to change that the uh hit to 40 and compile save let's see what's happened okay uh it's uh looking quite enough uh great but not super perfect so what i'm going to do i'm going to basically increase the uh boom isn't that looking weird like everything looking super zoomed i guess right like that okay it's even it's looking yeah it's a looking very zoomy effect uh let's put the, the value to 120 okay <laughs> now it's looking like uh like what's it say <laughs> it's looking very fun like playing with the camera angle it's a very fun okay so yeah now it's looking awesome 120 is looking awesome for this one okay perfect now we need to add some camera shakes and other stuff so i'm going to implement that and with that i'm going to update this animation too okay i guess that is enough for this video in next tutorial video what you're going to do we are going to implement the vehicle driving system and the stuff okay so i just hope you like this video so i love you all see you in next tutorial video